I'm here in uh, Kobesa uh, with the VSF uh, Swiss team uh, on a mission to uh, talk about prosopis, to discuss the issues of prosopis uh, with the community. Uh, our interest from the university is the research part uh, on the nutritional aspects of prosopis. Uh, we do understand from the community that uh, the prosopis plant has several disadvantages and we do appreciate that but we are looking at the positive side of uh, prosopis, which is the, uh, as the source of nutrients for animals. This is a plant that was introduced in this country uh, to manage the dry areas uh, to as cover, uh, uh, plant cover. And uh, since then it's become more of an invasive plant than uh, what it was intended to do. Uh, but uh, we won't go back and look at uh, the positive aspects, which is, uh, as I said earlier, the nutritional aspects. We also want to look at uh, issues of value addition. Uh, some of the complaints which most people have heard is that prosopis causes animals to lose teeth. Uh, we don't dispute that because uh, the pod has a lot of sugar, but if it's mixed with other materials, we reduce the amount of sugar. We do believe that is a good uh, source uh, of animal nutrients. We see these uh, plants, because of its aggressive growth, as a real, a real possibility. We believe there are many possibilities, there are very many uh, uses that this plant can be put into. And uh, to name just a few, it can be used as, 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 as timber, it can be used as, as, as wood fuel, it can also, be, in, fact, it, in fact, I was just thinking, talking to a friend, we thought, can we also think of having a pepper industry here, or, or, or even a softboard, you know, timber industry. This, this, is, well, this is a subject for another day. Today we are specifically here because VSF Swiss, we, we have come up with a, a, a project, an idea which we have discussed with communities. And the idea is to see how do we utilize these plants, one, as a feed for livestock. As you can see, I'm holding here uh, a pod. This plant, uh, this plant actually is a, is a leguminous and just got some pods. And these pods, when they mature, they, they are used as feed, actually livestock feed on them naturally. They feed on them. And uh, this plant, according to what we read in the literature, it uh, has a very high percentage of crude protein. It's not very different from uh, uh, some of the feeds that are used during droughts in this area, like the range cubes. They are, they are similar. So we think uh, that this plant can be utilized when these pods are ripened, they can be collected and then they can be milled. By the way, just to let you know, is that one way in which the seed is spread is, uh, to, or rather, the, or rather the, the, yeah, the seed is spread, is the fact that when animals feed on this pod or on this plant, the seeds are not digested. They are passed out in the dung of animals. So that's how it spreads. So we, we think that we, this, the pod can be harvested, it can be ground, and out of it being ground, it can be mixed with uh, uh, other available resources like hay. And uh, also see if we can also include uh, other components like minerals and, uh, and vitamins.